Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to properly diagnose your TV in four easy steps. Usually there's four boards inside your TV and I'll be showing you the symptoms for each and how to fix them all. So I'm just making sure it's all plugged in and I'm going to turn on my TV and see what I'm getting. I get the sharp logo but then it immediately turns off but you can notice that half the screen was dark. So this is indications of bad backlight but I'll show you other issues that you may be having as well. You can put your TV on a carpet. I'm just using some tablecloths and then I'm using ice cube tray to hold my, all my screws. Just laying the screen flat down on the cloth and then I'm just using an electric drill to take off the screws to look at the internal circuitry. I also had to take off the legs so that the back cover could come off. A little useful tip is put the screws on the components that you remove and then it's easy to know where they go. So here are all the main boards inside. You have three. You have the main power supply board here. You have your TCOM board and then the main board there. And uh, this is where you get the power. And this goes to the backlight as well. So those are the main four components that could go potentially wrong on your TV. 99% of the time I've noticed that it has been the backlights. If your brightness is too bright, um, this degrades the LED lights on the back. But it could be a main board and uh, other issues too. So I'll be showing you the symptoms uh, for each of these boards and what we can do to fix them. Uh, this uh, TCOM board goes down to the LCD strip and it's responsible for the horizontal lines. So uh, that could be an issue. And uh, the first thing that you want to do is uh, put, press the power supply board and we'll see if there's no standby light, as in this case it has a light, then it's probably your main board, your power supply. Um, it could be your fuse, and there's also some voltages that you could check. So in continuity mode, I'm just checking my fuse. You can hear the beep, so that means that the fuse is okay. There's some MOSFETs here, and just in diode mode, you can check to see if they're consistent, getting the same reading. Uh, you can also look at the uh, number on the component to make sure they're the same and if you're not really good in electronics you can just order a new board just using the little sticker. Other thing that we can do is check the standby voltage. It gives you everything right there. It says standby. I'm just putting my multimeter in voltage mode and then I press the power supply bar, a button and I'm getting 3.4 volts on standby. So that's looking good. For the other ones it says 12 volts and I'm getting 12.4. That sounds reasonable. I'm getting 20 volts here as well. That's all good. So let's check out the backlights. This is the most common uh, issue with TVs I've found that it's just with uh, the TV turns on but it has a black screen. You want to disconnect the connector from the supply board that goes to the LEDs. There's usually two strips. I'm testing the first one. I'm getting 83 volts and if you turn off the light you can actually see the glow coming out. So that means that strip is good. But I'm testing the other strip there and the voltage not changing. That indicates that that strip is bad. Um, other issue you may have is the main uh, board. And that's responsible for like loading all the apps and stuff. So if it's really slow processing or you're freezing, not stuck on a logo, or it doesn't even turn on at all because the power supply button is connected to this, it could be that you just order it. It's the most expensive part. So I found actually a quick fix is to... Uh, put it into the oven for 10 minutes just to reflow it and that seems to work. Other issue you may have is the TCOM board if you're having kind of wiggly lines or color distortions you can just order the, the part there it's really cheap. Uh, but uh, for my case it was the more difficult one I had to take off the screen and look at the LEDs on the back and if one of those LEDs blows basically the whole TV will not light. But after replacing several broken LEDs, I got this one back and going. So I'm putting links in all the description for each um, symptom that you're having. And I've done hundreds of repair videos on TV, so please check that out. And hopefully this will isolate your issue so you can watch the video uh, more in depth about the issue that you're having. I'll see you in the next one. And if you like uh, electronics, you can subscribe. And uh, I also put useful tips and tricks how to keep your TV uh, lasting a long time. Okay, until next time. Bye.